while I was building my airplane I needed a hot wire cutter to cut the foam wings and stuff down a bit. I machined them just a little bit too thick on the bottom. I was just playing it safe while machining just to avoid having any movement. And I will show you guys what I came up with to cut my wings down. Okay, so this is my setup here. All I have is a stainless steel fishing leader wire mounted in between two bolts. And then I have the plus and minus going off of those two here. Um, I can adjust the height here just simply by moving this wire in between the nuts and sliding it up and down. And those two wires go to this little power adapter I found, which is, as you can see, 12 volt at 1.7 amps. Seems to work fine, I've only tried it for a couple of seconds, but it heats it up nice and cuts nicely. I will show you guys how it works. Actually, I'll show you just how easily this wiring is. It's just a matter of plus and minus and shorting on the stainless steel wire there. So I'll plug that in and then I will cut some foam. Okay, so I've plugged it in now. As you can see, the smoke coming off of it. And uh, let me show you guys how it cuts. So you guys have to go a little slow because there is still the risk of breaking the wire when it's so hot. Cut that piece off. And there you go. A nice clean cut. Hopefully that will help you guys. So this is the rear wing, the elevator of my airplane. And as you can see I made it a little thicker just to play it safe. Now I've adjusted the height of my wire cutter to just cut it down a little bit and I will try cutting it without burning my fingers. You can see there's quite a bit of flex in the stainless steel wire. Could probably have tensioned it a little more. And there we go. And as you can see, it's made a decent cut. Cut it down quite a bit. Okay, you'll have a fair bit of smoke coming off of this wire and it'll probably sound as though something's cooking on it. It's, it looks like it's coated with something and it, it seems to come off after cutting a few pieces so it does stink and if it's toxic I don't know. Well I guess we'll find out. Just wanted to let you guys know that physics does still apply. I found that out the hard way. When something gets hot it expands so I had a loose wire. So what I did is I heated it up and then tightened the bolt which then pulled it just stiff enough to cut. I guess ideally you would have some sort of tensioner, maybe a spring loaded something on one side. So that will be something that I will add on on my actual build that I'm going to make so that I can do some profile cutting also. I'm going to unplug it now. The tension is going to get much greater. Hopefully it doesn't snap and Hit the camera. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the difference. 
but it's there.